I had one of those uh, YouTube moments where I think I was recording for about 10 minutes. Or at least I thought I was. <laughs> and I wasn't. And so I'm going to have to start over. But you, it'll be the first time for you. Hello, I'm Jabo. Welcome to Brickzar. And there's this terrible odor in front of me right now. If I had recorded previously, you would have seen my reaction to what is in front of me. So I'm just going to put all this back in here for now. That's a haul. I'm going to be doing a haul. I'm going to be washing my hands later. I got another package that we're going to look at. And we're going to talk about base plates. Can't talk enough about base plates. Actually, these aren't base plates. These are plates. I made the mistake. Oh, my goodness. And, well, actually, we are going to talk about base plates and plates. I had a couple of questions. <laughs> and so, anyway, there was a question from uh, Chopper467 who is looking at these 25 by 25 base plates that he found on Bricklink. He said the cheapest seller he can find is selling them for $50. Why? Why are they $50 for a 25 by 25 base plate? Oh, it's rare. That's why. But you know what the 25 by 25 base plate is? It's like one-fourth of a 50 by 50 base plate. Think about it. So, uh, if you go to BrickLink and you look up the 25 by 25 base plate, you'll see what he's talking about. I can I probably show an image of there. Somebody took that picture. Oh, no. That was me. I took the picture. <laughs> so, back in the day, I was buying a lot of vintage lots on eBay. And I would usually search Lego Samsonite. So, I would buy bulk lots, whether, you know, no set boxes in there, just random lots. I would buy actual lots that had incomplete sets in them. So, I ended up getting a lot of Samsonite-related uh, items, a lot of bricks, a lot of plates, a lot of the parts that were available in that time period, you know, usually the 60s. And I did come across the 25 by 25 base plate. And I wasn't really sure about it. I'm like, what is this? And then I did some research and I found that that was in set 704. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, they don't have a picture on BrickLink. I have them. I'll submit the picture. And I, I was a little hesitant at first because one thing about the Samsonite base plates, it does appear that they actually made a 50 by 50 base plate and then cut it. I think that's the way they manufacture them. They just used the mold or they got them from the manufacturer, whoever. You know, I don't know if Samsonite molded them or if they did it, outsourced it, but they would get those 50 by 50 base plates and then they would cut them in fours. I think that's how they, they made those. Uh, so, yeah, it's theoretically possible that somebody could counterfeit one of those. Not technically counterfeit, but like take an actual base plate that's existing and cut it to make it. But then it's exactly what Samsonite did. If anybody knows anything different about that, let me know in the comments. But I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Um, that, and that plate is... Uh, I didn't cut mine. That's the way it came. And it's, it is pretty rare, and I wouldn't recommend cu uh, cutting a vintage plate. It'll probably break anyway. <sighs> but, yeah, so, um, I you know, I could have submitted more pictures of things, and, and I really should help Brickset, because a lot of the items that I have, there's still a lot of items I own that Brickset doesn't have an image or a good image of it. Uh, perhaps once I get the basement organized, that is something I'll participate in. So one other thing I'm going to talk about, I've been holding these blue 6x, I think those are 6x16 base plates. 2, 4, 6, 8, yeah, 6x16. All right, so I got a question from Lisa Collins. You know, she had some 6x12 plates. Did I say base plate? Plates. These are plates. Oh, man. Oh, such an easy mistake to make, as we've seen recently in my house. Um, and she had, there was some unusual printing on the underside of it. And I think hers came from a castle set that she had. But it really doesn't matter because there's a lot of different sets that have those plates. And for instance, I found five blue 6x16 plates. They all have different stuff on the underside of them. They're all different printing. Uh, whether, the, you know, the modern one has the clean 
printing with the part number. This one happens to be 3027 is the part number. But then you'll see other things where it looks like there used to be a number that was marked out or there's a, a number on one side or the other. This one also has things that look like it was marked out. It has different. This one had a number one. One had a number two. Um, you got some that look like they have pat pending used to be on there, but then they marked it out. And yeah, different numbers and different smudge marks and stuff on here. So there's all kinds of different possibilities. And this is and this is only five plates. I'm sure there's more. And to figure out all the different varieties, I think, is an impossible task. I don't know what the process was that Lego did with the molds. If they dedicated that mold for that piece, or if they cleaned it up and later used it for a different color of the same piece. I don't know, but I do know that they... I, I'm pretty sure that they would have molds, for instance, the ones that said Pat Pending, and then once the pending was gone... <laughs> they took the actual mold and marked it out on the mold and so now the next ones that were pressed it looks like it's got that marked out pat pending i don't think they marked it out on the piece i think they marked they they did file down the mold the numbers on the mold and so there were probably other things on there with the numbers that would get pressed into a plate or a brick or whatever so there's a, a lot of different possibilities of what you'll find but it's not it's not unusual to see those unusual marks, if that makes any sense. And I, you know, I'm a person that collects the different colors of two by four bricks. But if you were just to take one color, the red two by four brick, and try to collect every different variety of brick that you could find, I think you would. It would. I think it's safe to say it probably would get into the hundreds between the different. Uh, text on the, on the actual Lego logo on there, lo logos that are turned, logos that are malfunctioned, <laughs> uh, different pip locations, different numbers on the underside in addition to, you know, you got the part number 3001, but sometimes there's other numbers like these plates, the identical plates, they had different numbers on them. So it might, you know, maybe that refers to whatever mold that is, like if Say they got like a hundred molds printing this piece. I don't know how many they had. They might, it could be five, could, uh, and each of those had a different number assigned to it. So if they had a defect, they're like, oh, mold five, mold number two. <laughs> that's the one that's uh, messing up. So I don't know how many molds that they had, and then changes to those molds over the years, and then different factories and their molds. And so there's so many different possibilities over the years. I wouldn't even want to start into that. So that's what I uh, I talked about. I think I covered everything that I did before I was talking to just myself earlier when I was forgot to hit the record button. Now, it, another thing I did is I had this haul from the Netherlands. At least I can say, oh, oh it's so bad, man. It is so bad. Oh, I really love tipper trucks. Okay. Let's, let's see if I can do this. Um, this is set 435. Set 435. Set 435. I, I, I can just I can feel my hands. Monk would be dying right now. So, um, um, yeah. So, there's three tipper trucks. Another tipper truck. Four tipper trucks. This is a BrickLink order. Oh. These are my pieces, and this includes parts for the A N W B or A N is it A N W root beer, the the the, the tow set that I'm working on. Plus, there's some other tipper parts in there as well, and I think there's a couple of pieces that actually go to the yeah, there's a couple of pieces that go to the castle that I'm piecing together. We got this truck. This is six zero two. It's another one of the mini wheel sets. It stinks too. I got some stinky dualies. These are the dually wheels. Don't touch my other box. Oh, this is bad. All right, we got a Fabuland set here. And we got the double tipper truck trailer thingy. And I think that is it. Oh, this is bad. I've, and the sad thing is I've had to go through this twice. 
Why? Of all the halls to mess up and have to touch twice is this one. All right. Um... This is bad. Hold on. So what I'm going to do, I'm throwing all these bags away. I'm dump everything in here. I don't, at least I, I'm not going to worry about these sets being mixed up together. Not a concern. Oh, here's a base plate. It's a Hannah Hippopotamus. Uh, take these random parts out of here. There ain't no way, there's no way I'm mixing up this stuff with my other stuff this this is a uh, this is a top five right here this haul a top five in the stink factor now i had the one a, not too terribly long ago where the parts were really scratched up and heavily heavily used i mean like abused use that was probably that one was probably the worst as far as like condition um these the parts yeah, the parts don't look parts don't, don't they don't look bad. They just stink like everything. Uh, so I'm dumping all this stuff in this one container here. Oh. All right, so everything's in there. Put the lid on this. I'll be back. I don't think I've ever done this before. Now I've I've washed stuff, but I got stuff that I got years ago. I still haven't washed. I need to wash. That's one thing I probably should do is just make sure everything in the entire collection is washed. But I went upstairs, filled this thing up with water and palm olive. Uh, that softens your hands, but I didn't put, put it in my hands. Was it Madge? Was it Madge that used the palm olive? And when I see your hands, I wish I were a nurse. Dishwashing, man. Want to try palm olive dishwashing liquid? Softens your hands while you do the dishes. Pretty green. You're soaking in it. And dishwashing liquid? Palm olive. Mild, then. Oh, more than just mild. Right, Madge. Palm olive suds last from the first glass to the last greasy casserole. And it softens hands while you do dishes. Mad, mm. that palm olive liquid of yours, I'm simply in love with it. What, does your husband know about this? <laughs> and, um, yeah, I've, I filled this up with soapy water. I'm going to let it soak here for a while. And then I'll, I didn't take anything apart. I didn't even want to really touch it. Um, so I'm going to let it soak, and then I'll take everything completely apart, and then wash it again, and probably do it several times. Soap and water should get, I hope, get the smell. But then, And it's probably dangerous... For me to bring this down here. I don't usually bring it back down to the basement. I usually keep it up in like the bathroom or something. Um, but that it it was stunk. It really stunk. So this is the one I'm excited about. Uh, th and I, this is one that I blame Robin, Robin Hull, who, if you like Fabuland, like I got I got a Fabuland set there. I would recommend following them, especially on Instagram, but they also on YouTube. Because they post a lot of stuff. And sometimes it's stuff maybe they don't own but they found out about. Like uh, recently they posted some pictures of a Legoland section that had Fabuland stuff. And I'm like, that is amazing. <laughs> I would love to have those props or those builds. I wonder whatever happened to all that stuff that was in that park. Can you imagine? It's just like life-size stuff of Fabuland characters and utensils and things. Uh, just amazing. Really amazing. So this is one of those. you got to be careful sometimes. Now, I've shipped stuff like this myself, and I often wonder. I'm like, I hope whoever opens it is careful. Don't just stick a knife in there. Don't stick Lamar's cutters. You know, maybe I've been lying to you. Maybe my name is Lamar. Would you be surprised if I told you that? I would be surprised if I told you that. Because my name is not Lamar. Alright. Huh. Diamond Comic Distributor. Does anybody remember Diamond Comics? Are they still around? 
Oh wow, because um, so in this, you know, eBay. This came from eBay, and it doesn't surprise me though that this is from Diamond. Com they used a, a box from Diamond Comic Distributors. I know that was a big distributor back in the day when I was collecting. And the person I bought this from sells comics, apparently, because I bought comics. All right. So, if, uh, anyway, so Robin Hull shared a picture on Instagram, and it cost me and Brick Trains, or Brick Trains and I, <laughs> uh, a lot of money. Because we went and bought some stuff. And here is my copy of it. Oh no. Let's see if I can find the front. This is what we got. TV 21. It's actually TV Century 21. So this is a comic that came out in 1965 that was presented as if it was 2065. And the thing that was in here... Um, it's, this is this is all fake stories, but there's ads based on real products. So different companies could place put their ads in here, and I'm going to see if I can. I forgot what page it was on. It's like a newspaper format, so it's there's no staples in it. It's got my favorite Martian. Oh wait, let me. You know what? I wasn't going to change, but I'm going to come around where you can see what I'm doing here. Really live. I'm living on the edge here. There's, there's my liquid. Here's my comic book. Very, very close. Very dangerous. <laughs> uh, so this is what the comic book looks like. It's like a newspaper. You see a corgi ad in there. Burke's Law. Isn't that an actual law? Who killed Catherine the Great? We got Fireball. My favorite Martian. Let me see if I can got to find my ad. I bought this for an ad. Ooh, Stingray. Thunderbirds. Argo. <laughs> Lady Penelope. That's some weird... Those eyebrows, man. Whew. It was the 60s. What are you going to do? Weedabix. What? They had Weedabix back then? <laughs> Supercar. <laughs> oh, no. Does this one not have an ad? Come on. It's got to have the ad. Lady Penelope again. Oh no. What? Where's my ad? No. No. No, 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 no. I bought this for the ad. Oh no. Is it missing a page? Two. Three. Five. Seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, whoo! Oh, <laughs> this is why I got it. the the Lego ad. Uh, yeah, today in 2065. So go check out Brick Trains. He also picked up one of these, but this is all, um, uh, Robin Hull's fault. Well, it's not really his fault. I mean, but I, I want to thank Robin for pointing this stuff out. I never would have known this existed if he hadn't shared that picture on Instagram. And so now I got a copy of it for myself. And then here on the back, it's actually pretty cool. And I actually thought about collecting these for the Dalek comics on the back. One of them actually had a Dalek cover. Uh, so Doctor Who stuff going on there. And then this one, man, that is so creepy. That is too scary. <laughs> and so this one should also have an ad. Yeah, there it is right there. Under the typewriter. Pretty good. So I think Joey, he ended up getting a better quality print than I did. But uh, it's just super cool. Super, 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 super cool. So I wanted to have an actual one. I would like to get a... a um, a fake one, you know, one printed out, and there's another Dalek ad. So, comic books. Man, I thought I stopped collecting comics.
know what? I was going to pose for a thumbnail, but anyway, I thought I stopped collecting comics. And now I'm buying more comics, but I'm buying them not for the comic, but for the ad. So I got comics on display that I use the Lego ads for those. And as I go through my collection of comics, getting rid of those, I'll making sure I keep at least one or two copies of all the different Lego ads. Uh, oh, and I'm wearing a Batman shirt. This is a... Is that the Batwing? I don't remember. It's a uh, Brick Builders Club again. So this that's where I got this shirt. It's a Lego built Batman logo. And interesting, uh, when the day I'm filming this, so they released um, the a picture. Somebody leaked a picture of the 1966 t or the the classic TV series Batman Batmobile that they were going to make. And in that set, it has the Joker, and it has Batman. It's like, in the way they portrayed the scenes, like Batman's coming out of his uh, Batcave, and the Joker's there to meet him, like, oh, so the Joker knows where he lives now. But um, the thing is, that the set does not have Robin, but I did have a Robin in my Bricklink store. I don't anymore. It's like, it, it within, I, I don't say minutes, but not long after they released that picture, Somebody went into my store and bought my Robin that I had, the 66 TV sh series Robin. Uh, so thank you uh, for buying that. So That's one of those things with uh, if you sell that sometimes other things can trigger stuff. Like the Mandalorian, when it, the, the series came out, all of a sudden all the Mandalorian stuff starts disappearing. So if you're on top of those trends, it can can help you kind of know what things you can put in there or maybe you got something you hadn't put in you thought oh i need to sell that while, while it's hot because sometimes those trends kind of die, die down but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video it didn't actually go any way according to how i planned thanks to these stinky lego pieces but anyway thanks for watching man i hope i don't drop this that was very dangerous what i was doing anyway i'll see y'all tomorrow and i'll be in a different t-shirt